again, I'm going to be sharing with you how I use the Vanish Starter Kit. Let's get going. Plus, do you like this hair? Isn't it so cool? It's like, I feel very much like Khloe Kardashian right now. First thing is I'm going to wash my face with the All Clear Mint Cleanser from Vanish. I love this stuff. It is so light and gentle. So let's get washed in the face. What I love about this cleanser is that it's so light and gentle and it's also super minty. So you can kind of see, I just work it through my palms and into my skin and you can see rinsing is super easy and the cleanser is so minty, which is really, really great. So you can see it's not tight, it's not like stiff. You know how some cleansers can make your skin really tight. Then I like to just spray a little bit of my elixir just to like tone it up. And then I am going to start with my activated charcoal mask. I'm gonna put this on my nose and I'm going to put the pumpkin enzyme mask along my jaw area. Especially during the time of the month, I get a lot of acne and a lot of breakouts here. So I'm gonna just put it right here. So you can use the activated charcoal mask as a spot treatment or you can use it if you tend to break out all over the face. Right now, the jaw is really my problem. Whew. And it tingles so much because it has glycolic acid in there which is going to slough off all the dead skin cells. We're going to take the activated charcoal clay mask and I'm going to use it on my nose. You just like to pour it on the cap, that's easiest for me. And I like to mix it with my vitamin C beauty elixir. And I just put a few squirts on here and then I just put it on my nose, especially around the corners because I get really big pores there and a lot of dirt and oil can stick on. Okay, so I'm going to wait for like five, 10 minutes until the products dry up. The activated charcoal will be like a very light color and I'll kind of crack and then the pumpkin enzyme mask will also be dried up as well. Sometimes I use the activated charcoal mask all over my entire face. I put a lot of it on and it really pulsates and pulls out all the stuff in my skin. But today I wanted to not do such an intense clay mask so I'm just doing it like this. So while your mask is drying, this is the perfect time to clean your banisher. All you gotta do is fill up the alcohol to the fill line. It fits perfectly in the cap so it can clean. You can also put it upside down to clean and you're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. All right, so the mask is nearly dry. You can see the difference in the color, so I'm just going to rinse it off. So you can see my skin, it just looks really clean. Everything's like very, very tight. It's tight, but it's not drying, which I think is a difference, so very clean skin. I'm going to use the banisher on one side of my face because I'm going to use the banish stick right after I use the banisher and without using the banisher. So I'm gonna take my banisher off and tap off any of the excess alcohol on here. And I'm just going to focus right along here on my skin. So I'm going to focus on this. I just press it and let it go and rotate, press, let it go, 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 rotate. Super, super fast, simple, easy, effective. And then I'm gonna go here. And this is so we can create those micro holes so we can build collagen in the skin. And then I like to do a little bit here because I feel like I'm getting lines here, so. Press there. All right, that's it. So I'm going to introduce how you're going to use your banish stick, and I will tell you guys the whole story of how this was developed later. But the authentic banish sticks obviously have our banish logo imprinted on them, and they come in a banish sock. So what I like to do is I like to keep this in the fridge and then wear these socks around the house and around and about. I mean, look how cute they are. I have a pair on my feet right now. Basically, we decided to do this because I was like, why should we use more plastic wrap or bubble wrap and 
you know, contribute to the environmental waste. Why don't we use socks where Daisy never has enough socks and they never match, so she always needs socks. <laughs> I like to just clean my banish stick. So just take a little bit of alcohol with a cotton pad and just rub it around here. And of course, this is authentic tigerite stone. It's not going to like change in any way by putting alcohol on it. So the reason why I wanted to create a banish stick and using this is because after using the banish oil, I always felt like, how can I really get all of the goodness of the vitamin C into my skin? Traditionally, we would just take this, put a few drops on our skin and kind of soak it in, which you can do. So I'm gonna put some on my finger. And I like lots of oil because I'm all like, just put as much oil as you can on the skin. Okay, so you're gonna put that here. And this is good, I mean, this is definitely good. I can feel it going into the tiny little holes that the banisher made. But for that extra oomph and that extra push and healing powers in the skin, you can use the banish stick. So it's kind of like the gua sha's, but this is actually very, very heavy in comparison to the gua sha's. And I feel like you have more control over it. So I just basically push it in, push the oil into the skin. So you need to use um, some kind of oil with this. You can use the banish oil, you can use the vitamin C cream, and you can use the elixir too. You can mix and match kind of what you put. But you need to use some kind of natural oil or ingredient in here so it gives some, uh, so it can slide up to the skin. I always like to work in an up motion and just kind of keep pressing up. This will help further put the banish oil in the skin, help it absorb better into the skin. And what's so great is tigerite, it's like the healing stone. It kind of heals parts of your body and it's really good for healing, especially for bones and joints and skin. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is why we're gonna stick with tigerite. And tigerite is a very, very hard stone. It's super, super hard on like the stone hardness scale. And I wanted it hard because we need to push all of that good vitamin C into our skin. So let's get it as hard as possible. It's a lot more like aggressive than the gua sha, I would say. Okay, so we're gonna push up and just kind of where I use the banisher. So that's what you can use the banish stick for. Woo, oh my God, I feel it. Like, you know, like a deep tissue massage, how it, <laughs> how things like, like kind of hurt a little bit, it kind of feels like that. What's so great about these stones and the whole science behind the gua sha is our body and our skeletal system and our skin kind of like has like mineral deposits in them. So if you think of like, you know, your bathroom, right? Over time, the hard water is gonna get kind of in the crevices of your bathroom bathtub and you have to really go out there and kind of scrub off those um, soap scum, the water, all that kind of stuff, right, in your bathroom. This is kind of what it is. We're trying to like get out all that gunk, all that congestion in our skin so that way our blood circulation can just be like a little bit better. It's kind of like cleaning out like old pipes or something. Like you just want to clear out all of that. And a lot of times our skin can get really congested and so it's really good to use a very, very hard stone like this to really kind of get all of that out. What I also, use the gua sha for. Got my vitamin C cream, it's well loved. Okay, I also put this on. You can put it underneath the eyes. Don't use the banisher underneath the eyes. But you can also use the banish stick. And you wanna be a little gentle and light, but I love how it fits right underneath my eye crevice. You don't want to be rubbing, you know, under your eyes with your fingers. You want to use a very nice smooth, motion for that and then work it up to the skin it's so relaxing it's like a massage you can also keep it in your fridge the banish stick which i do but when actually finding the stones for what we were gonna make the banish stick out of i was actually touching the stones and i was like oh my god this is this stays cool to the touch it's really cool how it kind of contains that energy and it's not gonna just like get hot if the other surfaces are hot okay, so that's one way you can use the banish stick is just kind of do you see I have bags under my eyes to kind of just 
get that drainage out. This is because I have a lot of liquids and fluids and salt and stuff that's underneath my eyes. So you just wanna make sure that you're kind of massaging it and kind of draining it out. And again, the vitamin C cream is really great to use, like a lubricant for the Vanish Stick, but you can also use the Vanish Oil or the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. And I have sinus issues. So I've been getting a lot of sinus infections this year. I have really bad allergies, and it's because everything here is congested. This isn't even like a cosmetic thing. It's really helping get all of that drainage out and I can actually feel it. It actually like tickles a lot <laughs> because this all has like gross boogers and like trapped allergy stuff in there. So it's actually really, really good to work and scrape it off. You can use this as an acupressure stick. So you can also push here. This is a point in the eyes for that. But I like to just use it to kind of get those deposits out of there and get my sinuses to clear up. And I love how this size, it fits really well in those nooks. And then again, I'm gonna take the rest and push it upwards. Gravity kind of goes like this to our faces, right? Over time. So we want to just make sure that we're working on our bodies. We want to work out our face a little bit. And this is all natural. You're just gonna go and exercise a little bit of those lifting muscles and kind of drain out any blockages. Let me show you how to use the elixir. Now, something what I really love is I love making my own concoctions. So you don't have to use purely the oil or the cream. You can mix and match. Some people think the oil is a little bit sticky, so you can take a little bit of the oil. You can take a dollop of the cream. You can take some of the elixir, and then you're gonna mix it all in your palm together. Make sure your hands are clean and you're gonna just put it on your face and it's such, it's like almost like a massage oil. It's so relaxing and you get all of the benefits of all of the products in here. Massage your face. I'm trying to get um, deep tissue massage every week. I try to get acupressure done because I feel like it's good for <laughs> my stress level <laughs> and because I work out so much, but this is also really important that we make sure we massage our skin too. Right, we massage and exercise our face. And see, I didn't use the vanisher on this side, but you can use it on days where you're not using the vanisher. And I like this, you guys remember our pore smasher. I like this better than the pore smasher because you can use this with other products. The pore smasher you weren't able to. And sometimes people find grittiness in their face. If you find a place that's really gritty, um, I know for me, this area is kind of gritty, so you can kind of wiggle it and kind of smooth it out. So don't be afraid to like go through the grittiness. Like this is an area where I'm super congested and have a lot of grittiness. Also help shape my nose. <laughs> and just kind of go in and see where it's super gritty. You really feel like your face, like you went through a deep tissue massage. It's really deep tissue acupressure for your face. And again, this tigerite stone and the way it's shaped is a lot harder than the jade rollers or the guasas you see out there because of how heavy it is. So it's also really good for anti-aging and collagen production too. I also have a, a mini jade roller. It's definitely not as heavy or strong as this is. Like you'll be able to see if you get any kind of jade roller and compare it with this. Okay. And also what's great about this is that you don't need to replace it, <laughs> unlike the banisher. And you can use this as often as you want as a facial massage tool. And again, it's really important. We always exercise our bodies. We always get massages on our bodies, but we really forget about the skin. And a lot of people have a lot of calcium, or sorry, deposits on their forehead. This is where I have my acne scarring. So try to heal that up and iron it up. You can just incorporate this in your banished skincare routine. I do this once a week, right after my banisher. Remember, we prick tiny little holes on our skin. We put really good ingredients into the skin and now we're just making sure that they all sink in and that the blood circulation is going. Because you want to use the banish stick to circulate the blood and to kind of drain the face so that way your skin will further produce those new skin cells that is collagen induction therapy, right? Our face can get blocked 
things can get crusty and deposited so you just want to make sure that everything's all smooth out think of like having knots in your shoulder you know when you get a massage you have knots and you got to smooth and press them out out basically the same as this your skin cannot heal and reproduce itself and get new skin and new collagen if your skin your face is all up in knots and then what i do at the very end is i take my vitamin c beauty elixir oh my god so good and just like spray my face it will set all of the products in and again none of our products have alcohol in there so it's not going to actually dry out your skin so i would actually put it on my bathroom you can store it in the sock or you can just put it someplace where it's not going to scratch okay and then how do you clean it so you guys know i am super super ocd when it comes to cleanliness um, after using the banisher make sure you clean it in the cap with the alcohol and to clean the guasa because we put a bunch of oils and creams and elixirs on there all you do is you take some a rubbing alcohol with a cotton pad and you clean it out just like that and let it air dry super easy you just want to make sure that you keep your banish stick clean and it can go back in the little sock you can wear the socks or you can place it on and i love the rubber here because it will help the gua sa kind of stick in place i mean all these little details are thought of isn't this the cutest thing and then the socks say step into the world with confidence on them ah! Cause that's what we're all about thank you all so much for watching and read in the description box because we're giving away a ton of these banish sticks and banish starter sticks and we have a special offer for you guys with the launch of our banish sticks so read the description bye guys